Hi guys, I'm Sarah, and today for our three and five year olds, we're gonna be learning about habitats and homes. So um, you wanna go in your camp in a box and look for a brown bag that says week two habitats and homes. And we are gonna be focusing on two different animals today. Um, we're gonna be focusing on birds and we're gonna be focusing on bees. So for our birds, we're gonna be making our very own bird feeder, which is in the video that's gonna be posted next. So keep an eye out for our bird feeder video. And that bird feeder will show you how, it will talk about how to make a bird feeder so you can attract different birds to your yard. And so you can look and see where those birds come, what seed they like to eat, where they like to stay in the trees, and how they move differently in the trees. For our other animal, our honeybees, we are gonna be making a really cool honeycomb pattern. So from your little brown bag, you're gonna need your little piece of bubble wrap, um, your paintbrush, and one of your paint pots. You can use both, I just have the one today. Um, and what we're gonna do is we are gonna make a little pattern. Uh, and the cool thing about honeybees is if we go inside their hive, they have honeycomb inside their hive. And the honeycomb has a really neat little pattern. Um, and it's where the bees store their food, it's where they lay their eggs, it's where um, they store the honey, things like that. So it's a really special place for them. So what we're gonna do is take our paintbrush and we're gonna dip it in our paint. And you'll need a little piece of paper as well from home. And we're gonna paint our bubble wrap here. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create a pattern that's very similar to what bees have in their honeycomb. And bees are so important for humans because they go around and they pollinate all of our different plants and crops and trees. Um, so all those things can keep growing. So once we painted it, we're gonna take it, we're gonna flip it upside down, and we're gonna press it onto our piece of paper. So just press gently, you don't wanna pop it. Right, press gently, and then you're gonna lift it up, and you got the start of your little honeycomb pattern. And now you can do what I'm doing and use just one color and do the same color again and again. And you might have all sorts of fun colors in your box. Um, so you can do one color the whole time, or you can switch and use different colors each time. Whatever you feel like, this is your honeycomb project, so whatever feels best for you. You can see we're starting to grow a really cool little honeycomb pattern. So like we were saying earlier, the bees will come and they'll store their honey right inside these little honeycombs. And so what people do is when those honeycombs fill up and there's lots of honey now. It's really important for beekeepers that when they take honey from a hive, that they only take um, a little bit so that the bees still have honey left over for them. So when, honey, and when beekeepers take it from a hive, they just take enough um, for people and then they leave the rest for the bees because the bees need the honey too. But we do have a special treat in your bag as well today. We have this delicious honey straw. So you can have a parent help you and they can cut off the top and you can try this yummy honey straw. And they might be different flavors. So see if you can guess what flavor you have. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a great time.